was a Project Pat fan yeah, before he was. A he was. Pat oh Pat. my God, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's how the International Player record came out. Don't you get mad at me, cause you brought the chose up glad. Yeah, really? already. Yeah, he was, was a Project, Project Pat, Pat fan. That was a Project Pat beat. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Because he could have been there within that four years of him sitting down. I mean, you got to realize that the height of um, Big Pimpin' and sipping on that scissor, now you're gone. Yeah. yeah. I mean, come on, bro. That was a lot of money he missed. Yeah. You know about the uh, the movie deal? What movie deal? Um, Ice-T at Cinema Script. He told me about it, but I don't know the logistics on it, you know. Ice-T yeah. wanted him on Law & Order. Send him the script. Worth a couple million dollars. I don't want to do that shit. Yeah. Wide open. So I'm trying to tell you, if I do some suck ass acting, that shit gonna hurt my music career. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting there looking at this motherfucker's crib like, nigga, let me do that motherfucking acting. I never wanted to take. He told me he was gonna go to school and take oh. acting classes. So, oh, that, yeah. David so Banner told him to do that, so mm -hmm. he could present himself correct. Yeah. Yeah. He wasn't. He wasn't gonna. I mean. That was an art to him. I yeah, got, that's an art. I'm not gonna disrespect their craft by getting out there wow. and saying I can rap. I'm being, I can act. Yeah, he wasn't gonna do nothing half ass. Yeah, I, I, I think he would eventually slow down on popping up everywhere. He was just trying to get to where he was trying to get, get that and help and help all his people out at the same time. Mm -hmm. Man, what? do people what? understand how many people he was trying to help at the same damn time? Yeah, I was trying to ask you about this, uh, the Three Six Mafia and. His link with them and Juicy J and them, like how did that? It seemed like a hell of a bun. I don't. I wasn't there. You see what I'm saying? I, I just I the way they had the same influence. They had the same, same type of, they had the same type of feel though. You yeah, know they what did. It seemed so we started so, off about yeah. the same time. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. yeah, and then you know Juicy J, Juicy J, Pimp, me, and maybe I don't know, maybe a couple other producers out there. But we used to sample certain things. Yeah. And they sampled the same things. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So that's why his music, they, it was a perfect It marriage. seemed a bun. It, yeah. it, it, you could tell it was a bun. Yeah. I just think about the phases of, of Pimp C. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? I think he met them sometime in, for sure while he was living in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for uh, sure. Uh, I never met them till the funeral. He wasn't You never met him till the funeral. Mm -hmm. he, he wasn't tied in with Project Pat? Yeah. Okay. He, I, not like that, but he was a Project Pat fan yeah, before he was. A Project he even, Pat oh Pat. my God, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's how the International Player record came out. Don't you get mad at me, cause you brought the chose up glad. Yeah, really? already. Yeah, he was, was a Project, Project Pat, Pat fan. That was a Project Pat beat. Yeah. Yeah. First. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah we on Boss Talk 101.